78 children, 78 kids who are alive today thanks to this team. And we were there in Mexico as they all reunited. It's been a long night for nine-year-old Jimena, but these small steps show huge progress. Just 18 hours before, she was unconscious, intubated, recovering from complex open heart surgery. One of 13 Mexican children operated on in April by a team from Omaha. We have brought into the area the first heart surgeon, uh, pediatric cardiologists, pediatric intensive care doctors. Uh, we've trained nurses to provide pediatric intensive care. And this is the seventh time Dr. Jim Hamill brought a team to this hospital in La Paz, saving children with congenital heart defects. It's hard to pick a favorite. I'm sure. And easy to see why. <laughs> These are all children alive because of this team, laughing, full of energy. And, eager. and one by one, they each get a checkup from Omaha cardiologist Dr. Jeff Delaney. Etzel's surgery was almost a year ago. She nearly died. Omaha translator Christine Pagan didn't leave her side. I was the one who sat next to her head and I held her hand and as much as I could and like played with her hair and just tried to calm her down. I said, okay, no, I'm not your mom, but her mom's name is Christina as well. And so I said, okay, but I'm Christina too. And so I will just stay here until your mom can come back. To have her immediately come up and just be like, mm, you know, and like wanting to give me a hug was so, I mean, yeah, it's great. And the feeling is mutual. Watch this. <laughs> all of these families waited to surprise and thank the man who made all this happen, Dr. Jim Hamill. I'm starting to think this was a trap. <laughs> one by one, they each hug their hero. Gracias. With a grateful parent always next in line. Gracias. Itzel has a gift, a carved stone heart for the healed heart Dr. Hamill gave her. Gracias. Un abrazo. He took it back to the PICU, where his team soon said goodbye to another patient. Another child they'll see healthy and happy someday soon. The team's goal is to build an independent program with federal accreditation. They are so close and getting closer with every trip. They're next in the fall. You can help with donations and sharing what this team is doing. We have links to resources and our entire series right now at KETV.com.